my so first cousin. Be no one else no one else. So I just might kill the taste of me. Is that for the press? I swear something crawled in there and died in my mouth last night. That's <laughs> mine. <laughs> You'll be all right. When you're uh, fully rehydrated, you'll be okay. That's what I'm thinking. Get a bit of water on that. Yeah, I thought I was going to vomit in there, you know. Oh. It's a rough area, isn't it? Catherine's uh, got a hangover. I haven't got a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's sick, sorry. Sick. Okay. Drink from alcohol testing last night. Look, Father. Oh, oh, another, <laughs> another pissed cousin. That's a man toss. We talked about I don't drink. <laughs> Rob. Thank you very much. Oh, oh don't look my hair, looks a mess. <laughs> <laughs> As Catherine nursed her fragile head, Lee, Catherine's boyfriend, looked very relaxed cruising at 100 kilometers an hour. After an hour's journey from Brisbane, we arrived at Australia Zoo, which was owned by Steve Irwin. Australian Zoo is the biggest and most famous zoo in Queensland, Australia. It is also home to one of the biggest collections of dangerous reptiles in the world. Quite cute, aren't they? This is what Steve's known for, handling lethal snakes, like these ones here, behind two inch thick glass. There you go, that's the most venomous snake in the world. Is he strong? Is it? Yeah, there you go. The fear snake that chooses drop for drop the most toxic venom in the world. <laughs> One pipe possesses enough pipe to drop him into the small You can probably kill everyone in the car. <laughs> That's it. With my bloody boy. You can do whatever you want. And here is the Eastern Brown, another venomous beauty. And this one's called the Taipan. And it too is lethal. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's beautiful black toy, isn't it? No, but yeah. Do you reckon you hold one? Not one of these. Not one of these. After being terrified to death, we all thought we'd chill out in the rainforest aviary. The sights and sounds within the aviary were a lot more pleasant and relaxing to be in. We then popped in to visit the red kangaroos. This gave Barry a great photo opportunity. <laughs> was fantastic. It gave the visitor a chance to get right up close to the animals and to be able to touch them. We even had the opportunity to see a rare albino kangaroo. Oh, he's got a look on his face <laughs> it was then time to leave the kangaroos behind to go and visit the koalas. <laughs> 